Hello, and welcome to the Technology Entrepreneurship course. I'm Professor Chuck Easley. I'm part of the Stanford University Management Science and Engineering Department, and also part of the Stanford Technology Ventures Program. So I want to give some overview to the course here. Uh, the most important thing to understand is that this course is a hands-on, team-based, experiential project kind of course. So you shouldn't be thinking of this as passively consuming videos and content. We really put the emphasis here on the social element, the hands-on experiential project, with the videos being really resources to point you to things that may help with the actual project that you're undertaking. I really think that this is the best way to learn entrepreneurship. So this is a voluntary course. We really encourage you to be active participants and you're gonna get out of this course as much as you put into it. Uh, so the social element, please use our hashtag, uh, StanfordTE145. Uh, we have Twitter, Facebook group, uh, Slack community to help you communicate. So we've been doing this course for a couple of years now and really have a nice kind of community uh, of people who are into entrepreneurship in the startup world. So each time I run the course, uh, between 10 and 25,000 people from all over the world sign up. So there's a really great community here that's developed over the years, and we look forward to adding you to that community. So next I want to talk a bit about our teaching team. Uh, it's not just me here. Um, so we have uh, two excellent, uh, you can think of them as teaching assistants, or I almost think of them as co-instructors, uh, so helping me with the course. Uh, so there's Spike, an uh, Italian-Californian entrepreneur who's dedicated his life to uh, making the entrepreneurship ecosystem saner and with values and really improving entrepreneurship education. And then there's Yoni, the French-Israeli multidisciplinary entrepreneur who lives for creativity, experiments, and the future, including learning. And then myself, I'm a former entrepreneur turned academic uh, did, I did my PhD at MIT uh, before I came here to Stanford about six years ago and started teaching entrepreneurship. I'm on the board of a couple of companies and really excited about helping the next generation of entrepreneurs be as successful as possible. So there have been some successful startups that have come out of this course, gotten VC backing and now generating real revenues, but you should also think of this as a learning experience. So we're not here just to create companies but also to help people learn the process of entrepreneurship, which may be valuable regardless of what career you head towards after this. So this MOOC itself is an entrepreneurial project. We're continuously evolving it, adding new pieces, retaining the pieces that are working well. Uh, so I encourage you to bear with us in that process, and I also encourage you to please uh, help contribute uh, if there's any material. Uh, you know, think of uh, your fellow students uh, as real uh, kind of colleagues uh, in this process, and you all are really helping each other to learn as much uh, or possibly even more than I'm transmitting information to you in a, in a kind of broadcast sense. So one last thing uh, I just want to say briefly about intellectual property. Uh, so you need to think of balancing uh, the small risk that your idea might be stolen uh, if you upload uh, any materials to the course platform against the much greater risk that you may not develop the idea and evolve it and improve upon the idea to the point where it might actually work. So that's really what we're trying to do here. Uh, please stay tuned to part two of the course uh, where we will continue on through the startup process and also provide a bit more uh, legal guidance and um, uh, information to help you as you uh, progress in, in your entrepreneurial projects. I look forward to having you all in the class. Uh, please enjoy.